Devastating tornadoes struck across parts of the central and southern United States. More than 80 were feared dead, but an official said that the estimated fatality could be wrong. Jose Lito Liquido will tell us why live. Jose Lito, go ahead. Elsie dozens. Sorry, dozens of people in several Kentucky counties are still believed to have died in the deadly tornadoes over the weekend as rescue operations are still ongoing, but Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir said death toll may be as low as 50. The governor's new death toll estimate follows the report of the spokesperson for Mayfield Candle Factory, Bob Ferguson, when he confirmed eight factory workers have died and eight remains unaccounted for. More than 30 tornadoes were unleashed due to the storms on Friday night affecting at least six states. Officials reported two deaths in Arkansas, four in Tennessee, six in Illinois, and two in Missouri. Kentucky was the most devastated as it was in the direct line of the tornado, leaving thousands of homes without power. This is Kentucky's most devastating tornado event in our history. We have lost far too many of our brothers and sisters. The damage is devastating. Entire <laughs> blocks, more than one block, with nothing standing. Nothing that was standing in the direct line of this tornado uh, is still standing. We currently have 18 counties with damage. As of this morning, we had oh, between 36 and 50,000 Kentuckians without power, but I will say that that is improving. We are grateful to our first responders who were there all through the evening out in the storm itself showing incredible heroism, and they are still at work. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden declared a major federal disaster in Kentucky, which paves the way to additional aid as thousands face housing, food, power, and water shortages. President Biden said he plans to travel the, to the region to survey the damage without getting in the way of the rescue and recovery operations. Back to you, Elsie. Thank you, Joselito Liquido, for that live report.